happier feeling around here the last couple days? Yeah, there's a little more pep in everybody's step around here, which is a good, it's a good change of feeling around here for sure. Does that, that include yours, or you got an ankle issue? No, no, my, my, I'm fine. Uh, it was actually just a bruise from the game and trying to push all of the, uh, all the swelling out of it. So. Trip, what have you kind of noticed from, you know, Jay I know he had the, the good game, obviously, against Vanderbilt, but, I mean, the coach is complimentative of his preparation of practice. Are you know, noticing the same thing with him? Yeah, he's just got to become, we talked to him earlier in the, in the year, and he said that he wanted to become more of a, more of a leader in that wide receiver room, and uh, he talked to me about that, and I said, well, it's going to start a practice, and, you know, he's kind of taking those words to heart, and he has been practicing this off recently. Just, what, what would it mean if you guys could get DeMarie to that 1,000 yards, or even, even break Brad Smith's freshman season rushing record? How close is he? He's at 8:37. So I could see him doing it. I could see him doing it for sure. That that'd be awesome. Uh, I think it's I think it's also awesome that you know in this room I mean, we we expect that from him at least in like not necessarily this room with the reporters and everybody, but like in this facility I guess is a better word. Uh, you know we expect that from him and I know he expects that from himself and that's why you know the results are ending up like that. Is it? I mean, is that? Do you guys need little goals like that that, you know, I mean, I know you want to go out, you want to try to win every game, yeah. but little goals like that, do they help keep you motivated? Yeah, that definitely helps keep you motivated throughout, you know, something like we had this year, throughout some of the losses that we kept, you know, kept receiving. Uh, it kind of keeps you on track, kind of maybe takes your mind elsewhere when you're, when you're playing the game rather than, you know, thinking that we've just been losing the past couple games, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's 6-1, like half dozen the other, you know, you kind of, Want to have team goals at the same time? You got to set, you know, individual goals as well. Back to Jamon, just physically, how good can he be? I mean, yeah, no, he can be very good. Uh, you saw him take off against Vandy last week um, on that one. I don't remember how long the touchdown was, but he, he definitely turned the Jets on. You saw it against Georgia as well, and he just broke free from everybody. He's, you know, he said physically, I mean, he is pretty physically, uh, physically superb. We'll put it that way. You know, he can. <laughs> He can do a lot of things with the ball that a lot of guys can. You know, it helps us out a lot. But what's the difference in the games where, obviously, I mean, he's done it against some some pretty good defenses, and, and then the games where he's he's disappeared a little bit. What, do you see a difference in him the way he plays? No, it's the same mindset from him. At least, is in my eyes. I don't know what's going on in his head in that moment, but I, I still see the same guy out there competing. It's just you know, maybe uh, he didn't get the opportunity like he did in the last game. When he gets that one opportunity, he's going to make it work. Do you see a pattern with the drops at all? I mean, is it is it concentration on his part, or do you, have you been able to diagnose that? You know, I haven't. Uh, it's just, you know, you kind of think about a route concept that, you know, maybe he might drop it on or or a certain certain stem that he takes, but I, I can't. I haven't really thought about it too much. Where, like, I, you know, I've looked at it left shoulder balls he drops rather than right shoulder balls. But uh, I'm sure if we looked at it, you could probably see something. But uh, I, I, I haven't. Second half, the, the game was kind of hanging in balance. There was a two-point game. And there was back-to-back -back drives that you guys went down the length of the field. I and mean, one of them fumbled, the other one you scored on. But just how important do you think that was for the offense to kind of deliver some, some key drives there when uh, maybe in previous weeks you guys weren't able to, to pull it out? Yeah, it was definitely a different, different taste as far as needing points or maybe put more points up on the board to kind of secure the game or whatnot. Uh, and to come out and do have those two drives that you mentioned and then that one scoring drive where we, you know, we went up by two possessions. Uh, it, it was a feeling that I think we're going to remember uh, to where you know, we'll be confident going back out there on the field if we got to you know, be put in those situations. When you look at this offense, I mean, only one senior starter, and I, I know the focus is still on this year, wanting to win for the seniors, but mm -hmm. you ever just even back in your mind think about like just how much you're going to have coming back from this offense uh, next season? Yeah, 10 guys coming back is definitely a lot. Um, we got to keep building throughout this year, and like you said, it's hard to talk about next year, but uh, I think we just keep, keep making you know the strides that, that we make week to week. Uh, we've been playing better each week, in, in my mind, whether that, you know, the outcome weren't, weren't what we wasn't what we wanted, but uh, we are making strides that, you know, in the long run, possibly, like you mentioned, may help us out. Settled into a little bit of a more regular rotation with your receivers. Does that matter to a quarterback? I, or, I mean, do you like throwing to, to mostly the same guys or you throw to whoever's there? Yeah, I'd pretty much throw to whoever's there, but I think it definitely helps the receivers out. Uh, they can kind of have a mindset of you know, what certain plays are going in or what certain drives. And I know last year when I was for sure playing the second drive, you know, that helped me knowing, like, how much I need to prepare for 
you know, within the first quarter or in the second quarter. Uh, it's just having a steady mindset and knowing what your job is. And, you know, that helps, you know, clear everything up and help you play better. Drew, back in camp, would you have thought Croc would be getting 20 carries a game and be pushing 1,000 yards? Did you see things then? Uh, we saw we saw a lot from him. Uh, I don't necessarily know if we thought we'd get this from him. I mean, we expect him to be a great great ball player for us, but uh, pushing 1,000, you know, 20 plus carries a game, and doing what he did against Florida as well. And, uh, I don't even know if really he might have thought he'd be able to do that, but he's out here now. He's confident about it. And, you know, it's it's going to be hard to stop him.